Hi everyone and welcome back to Techie and She. In this video on my channel, we are going to discuss how you can add tooltips to a dimension value in Tableau. I know inherently and natively this is not possible in Tableau. So here is a quick pro tip that you guys can follow to bring in tooltips onto your dimension value. I recently faced a similar scenario when my client wanted to add a tooltip or a definition for each of these dimension values and I quickly found out the solution. So sharing this tip with you. So before we dive into this video, if you do like this video and the other content that I'm creating on YouTube, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and do give it a like and a comment if you have any point of view or any different topics you would want me to cover in my upcoming videos. So without further ado, let's get right into this video. So now let's begin by connecting to our data source, which is the sample superstore data in this case. And let's see what happens when you build a simple table using a few dimensions and a few measure. So let's go ahead and pull a few values over here. I'll pull segment onto the rows and ship mode as well onto the rows. Now let's pull in a few measures. So let's pull in sales into the columns. You can see the green pill, which is shows that it is a measure then let's pull in profit and also let's pull in a profit ratio so as you can see now i have two dimensions which are the blue pills and three of these are my measure values and all of them are continuous now i'm pulling in onto the labels as well these values um, on each of these different cards that i have here now, as you can see, I have a simple bar chart that's created for each of the segment and ship mode combination. I have a bar chart which shows me the sales, the profit and the profit ratio. As I hover on each one of them, I can see the tooltip. I can also edit the tooltip of these measures. However, I can't do the same for my dimensions. So let's see that I have these tooltips for my measures. I don't have the tooltips on my dimensions. Now how to enable this? So for that, we'll go ahead and build a new sheet. Now there's no direct way to do this in Tableau. So I'm going to show you how you can do it using a small hack. So what I'm doing here is again, pulling up the segment and the ship mode onto the rows. And I'll create a quick calculated field called as min of zero. You can create any placeholder, right? Right now I'm creating min of zero as a placeholder. This I'm going to pull it into the columns and the number of columns you have in the table should be the number uh, of times you'll have to replicate this field, this placeholder into the column shelf. As you can see, I have five of these here because I have two dimensions and three measures. So total five. Okay, so for the first one, I'm converting it to text and pulling in the segment onto the text. As you can see, there's a text value. Second, again, I'm converting it to text and pulling in the ship mode onto the text. So my first two columns are created. Now on the min zero of three, I want to have the sales value. So I'll go ahead and pull in the sales value into size. But before that, we should change this to a Gantt bar. So once you change this to a Gantt bar, pull in the sum of sales onto the size shelf. Similar to what we just did for the min zero of three, we'll do the same thing for the fourth and the fifth marks card. So I'm pulling in the sum of profit onto the size and changing it to a Gantt bar. Similarly, pull in the profit ratio and change it to Gantt bar. Okay. So these are now my five total columns that I need on my table. I have two additional columns which are just placeholders, the segment and the ship mode in the start. We will hide them later. Okay, you can format the whole table how and whatever ways you want. I don't want some of these row dividers or column dividers. You can remove them and also you can remove some of these grid lines or zero lines as in how you want your dashboard to look like. Okay, so I'm just going to uh, do a little bit of formatting over here. Now the other things you can see as as at this point itself, the tooltips have start showing up because now we have these as measure values. So you can edit each of these min of zero values or the placeholder values and format it accordingly, however you would want to. So I'm just doing a quick formatting of this table. Okay. 
again on the other measure values i also need to show the label so i'm just going to pull in the labels and you can also pull in the same thing onto the color shelf to give the bars a different color based on the value okay so i'm also quickly going to change that once all of this is done you can observe that the tool tips are showing in right and you have your legends on the right side now you can edit each and every tool tip even for the dimension value over here right so let's just quickly go ahead and right click and remove these from the headers the first two placeholder columns okay and now since we have these new columns that we just created you can see the tool tips on each one of them you can format them as in how you would want to so let's also include some grid lines over here so that it gives you a table like effect now you have your segment your ship mode and the three measure values now since our table is created let us see how we can edit each and every tool tip that we have on this table okay so for the first marks you can see there is segment and ship mode on the tool tip you can also pull in any other field as you would want to right let's say you want to pull in quantity so just pull in the quantity into the tool tip and you can reset the tool tip and just edit and make it however you would want to right you can preview it as well as when you hover on it you can see the updated tool tip right you can also give it more formatting so for example you want to say the segment of uh, this row is something so you can put in that value and even format the color and the size of the font over here right so i'll just also do a quick few formatting things to show you how the tooltip would look like so now you can see my segment value is highlighted in a different color right you can do the same thing with all the other columns so quickly you can bring in any field that you want to on your tooltip and then reset your tooltip and set it to how you want it now since we are on the topic of tooltips i would also want to give you a quick pro tip about tooltips that you can follow so basically on a tooltip you can also include a chart or a sheet which you have already created so you just have to go to insert sheet and pick the sheet that you already have that way you can include that sheet when you hover on a particular uh, field on the table right so that's a quick pro tip for you guys you can follow it if you don't need it you can just go ahead and remove it from your tooltip as well now that we've figured out how to create a tooltip for a dimension let's pull this sheet that we just created onto our dashboard as you can see our sheet is over here you can fit it to an entire view and you also have your legends on the right now i want to use this as a great table however if you see i don't have headers over here so in order to have headers right now you can see there is something on the bottom so you can change these axis title and put it as in how you would want to so you can name these as segment then you can call that a ship mode sum of sales sum of profit and your profit ratio right so all that you need to do is right click on each one of them edit the axis okay then you'll go into tick mark uh, select none for the major and minor tick marks and change the title you can also uncheck the automatic over here that will also enable if there is any change that's happening to the table it will not go through right now this is how each and every title can be at the bottom of your dashboard however if you want it on the top you can just go ahead and hide the header and i would say include a horizontal object on the top of the dashboard in that you can bring in various text objects which are your headers so right now i am pulling in the segment now similarly you can go ahead and pull a text object again call that as ship mode next again one for sales you can edit and format the headers another one for profit ratio and profit so once all these five headers are there you, you can format each of them and center align them so just go ahead right click format text object and align them to send for all of these different five headers and you can also select the outer container of these and then make sure that they are distributed evenly 
this way you can ensure that each of your heading falls exactly above the header right so just go ahead select the outer container and distribute contents evenly also give the header a nice background so that it stands out and a similar background can be applied to the table as well so that it can look harmonious and as part of the same sheet right so just go ahead select the whole container and give it the color of your choice finally our table is ready this table enables you to have any tool tips onto the dimension as well as your measure values right which is not possibly natively available in the tableau software you can add in definitions or any kind of different measure values onto your tool tips as per your use case i hope you like this video and learn something out of this if you did don't forget to hit on the like button and do subscribe to my channel because i keep coming up with a lot of tips and tricks that can help you on your tableau journey again thank you so much for watching this video and i'll see you on the next one bye bye